My next guest was born in Boston, grew up in Watertown, headed off to Hollywood, and there's a good chance you know her from this. Synchronized slang. New Olympic category. But now, she's here for this. From the sun god to the heavenly beaches, Albania is a vacationer's paradise. They're very well known for their hospitality. Like any side is yours. We could try it. If we knock on the door, I'm sure somebody will answer. Person dead, yeah. Eliza Dushku. The woman behind that documentary, Dear Albania, Eliza or Eliza Dushku joins me now. That's nice to right. see you, Eliza. Nice to see you. This Thanks is great, for by the way. Me. I cannot tell a lie. I knew nothing. When I say no, I knew Albania had been a communist country mm -hmm. until the 90s. Did you know much more when you started this thing four or five years ago? Well, firstly, that you are why we made this movie, because most people we meet say, I knew nothing. I couldn't even find it on a map. Um, and I mean, growing up, our father, he shared different things about our Albanian, you know, he taught us how to say things like, long live Albania, rof shiparia, but his parents passed away before I was born. And so I never had the chance to meet them. And, and you know, this really came from a lifetime of people going, don't you mean you're Armenian? And <laughs> my brother's always saying, no, we're Albanian. But you, so you didn't know much either. We didn't know very much, but we had, you know, we had little traditions. Like our mother would make spinach pie that my grandmother had taught That's her to make on, on New Year's every year, and we'd put coins in it, or, um, you know, very, very few things, though. What drove you to do this now? I mean, I, I, it came clear in the film how much this meant to you. We'll talk about that in a second. Mm -hmm. But why, why now? Why in the last few years did you decide to finally do this? Um, well, I did, a, I did a movie a number of years ago where I was wearing a, a white shirt through the whole movie. It was a horror movie where I'm being chased through the woods by mountain men. And the producers of the movie wanted me to wear some kind of emblem on my shirt. And I suggested the Albanian double-headed eagle, yeah. the, the national flag that I now have tattooed on my back. And they were like, that's great, we love it. And I wore this this shirt in the movie and all of a sudden overnight, I started getting Albanians coming out of the woodwork, coming up to me and going, you know, you wore the eagle, you were proud to be Albanian. And um, Regis Philbin all of a sudden is just telling me he's Albanian. And De Niro is coming out of the Albanian closet. And um, so it was this increasing kind of you know, Albania, 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 and like I figured it was sudden. time. And we partnered with our uh, friend and photographer in New York, and we just said we're going to go and and boots, you know, get there and when you take did off. The, when you're sitting, the parts I love. I mean, the country is beautiful, and it's and I never even heard of the capital Tirana until mm -hmm. I heard you. I mean, I never heard any of this thing. Yep. But when you're sitting in this fairly humble apartment with some of your relatives who not only did you not know, you didn't even know some of them existed, you saw photographs yeah. of your family. What was that like? What did that feel like? It was it was surreal and it was but it was just it was exciting for me. I mean I've my mother was a professor here in Boston mm. for almost fifty years and she taught, you know, government politics. We'd traveled all around the world and and, and yet I had never I had never um, thought of, of like the fact that I ha could have these families, you know, this family in, in this distant um, kind of mysterious country. And so to finally be there after so many years and, um, and be connecting with them and, and really feeling kind of like characteristics and my, you know, the sense of like, yes, maybe I did know that these were Albanian parts of me all along. And I felt like it was a, it was a second home. And so it, it was really happy warm. Dancing in the streets. It was surreal and it was, um, it was very organic. What's Besa? Besa is a promise. It's a code, um, you know, where if you come into my home and I say I'm going to protect you, I make a promise to God and I would sacrifice my own family to to protect you. Even and for was, strangers. Even for strangers. And there was a documentary called Besa and Albania was one of the few countries during World War II that where people, Albanians would protect the Jews and bring, bring them into their homes and, you know, risk their lives and the lives of their families. And, I mean, that's something to be proud of. How does this change you? You're a dual citizen now. We only have 30 seconds. How did this change you? Uh, it changed me in that, you know, I, I mean, for one, if, any, if, if all goes to hell and here in the States I have a second home there, I really had that feeling. Um, I feel like I would be welcome there. But also, I think who we are is, is so important and our our, our 
roots and our traditions and our ancestors. I mean, that's what makes us diverse. That's what makes us different. And so to fi figure out those parts of who I am makes me feel stronger and makes me feel, you know, more compassionate to others and more rounded. Before you go away, you moved home to Watertown. Yes. You're getting a degree in sociology. Yes. From, what are you going to be? What are you going to do? I'm looking to get into addiction and recovery work. You so, are? Yeah. That's like as passion. a career? Sure. I mean, I don't know what my ultimate end goal is, but I know that it's going to sort of form. I'm a 35-year-old sophomore now after this last semester, but um, I'm going to try to weave the weave my two worlds and and you know be of service to people. But first, you're going to the swearing in of your brother for a second term as well. First, I've got to get over to the inauguration of my brother, Wish a town councilor of Watertown, Aaron Dushku. I'll Sounds be there great. shortly. Eliza, Eliza, so whoever much. you are, it is great. Eliza Dushku. I know who you are. Thank you so much. <laughs>